hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in today's video we are going to learn how to find the limit of trigonometric functions now before we get into today's lesson there are two main equations that we need to familiarize ourselves with now the first is the limit of sine x divided by x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 now the reciprocal of this equation is true that is the limit of x divided by sine x as x approaches 0 is also equal to 1 secondly we have the limit of 1 minus cos x divided by x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0 now the reciprocal of this equation is not equal to zero however the limit of cos x minus one divided by x as x approaches zero is equal to zero so basically these are the two main equations that are going to help us to solve any given problem notice that you can test the validity of these equations by substituting in the value that x is approaching into any of the limits and you realize that the values that you are going to get will be equal to what you have on the right hand side of the equation now without wasting much time let's take our first problem so that is the limit of sine 3x divided by 2x as x approaches 0 so how do we solve this problem now from this equation, you realize that we have the limit of sine x divided by x as x approaches 0 equals 1. Now what we see here is that these two values are the same. Now in our question, we have sine 3x divided by 2x. Now to make these two values the same, the best thing we can do is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So we have times 3 over 3 and then we want to multiply. So we are going to have the limits as x approaches 0 of 3 sine 3x divided by. Now because we are multiplying we can interchange the two values. So 2 times 3 is 6 and then 3 times 2 is also 6. So we are going to have 2 times 3x now because 3 over 2 is a constant we can pull out the constant so that we have 3 over 2 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by 3x now you realize that the argument here which is 3x is exactly what we have at the denominator now since these two values here are the same, then the limit as x approaches 0 of this fraction is equal to 1. Therefore we say that 3 divided by 2 times 1 and that is equal to 3 over 2. So this is our final answer. Now let's move on to 2. Let's solve the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x over 3x now we know that tan x is equal to sin x over cos x so let's substitute that here so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sin x over cos x divided by 3x now we can simplify this as sine x over cos x times the reciprocal of this which is 1 over 3x now let's multiply across so we are going to have the constant 1 over 3 so we pull out the constant 1 over 3 and then we have times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x 
divided by divided by x cos x so we have x cos x now let's further simplify this so we have 1 over 3 times the limits as x approaches 0 of sine x over x times 1 over cos x now at this point we want to split sine x over x and then 1 over cos x so this is what we are going to do we have 1 over 3 times big brackets we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x and then times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over cos x so we have 1 over 3 and then we know that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1 times now at this at this point we don't need any defined property to simplify this now let's try to substitute in 0 into this limit now cosine of 0 is equal to 1 therefore 1 over 1 is still 1 so we have 1 times 1 and then 1 over 3 times 1 times 1 is still 1 over 3 so for question 3 let's try to find the limit as x approaches 1 of sine x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 2 now the first thing we are going to do is to factor out 2 so that we have the limits as x approaches 1 of sine x minus 1 divided by 2 into bracket x minus 1 now we are going to have a constant 1 over 2 and so we pull out 1 over 2 so that we have 1 over 2 times the limit as x approaches 1 of sine x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 now you realize that these two values are the same however we have our limit approaching 1 now all along we've been working with the limits of sine x over x as x approaches 0 and we know this to be equal to 1 however here we have the limits as x approaches 1 which is different from this so we can't say that the limit of this fraction is equal to 1 now what do we do let's try to introduce another variable say t and then we say that let t equals x minus 1 now if t is equal to x minus 1 then as x approaches 1 as x approaches 1 we know that if you put in 1 here this is going to be 0 and then we have x minus 1 to be t so as x approaches 1 t approaches 0 so if you put 1 here then t becomes 0 so as x approaches 1 t approaches 0 now in that case we can say that we have 1 over 2 times the limit instead of having x approaches 1 we have this time t approaches 0 of sine now wherever you see x minus 1 we are going to plug in t so we have sine t divided by t now this is exactly as what we have here therefore the limit as t approaches 0 of sine t over t is equal to 1 and thus we have our limit to be equal to 1 over 2 so now let's move on to example 4 we are going to find the limits of the function 5x 
cot 2x as x approaches 0. Now we know that cot x cot x is equal to 1 over tan x. Therefore, we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of 5x times now since we have the argument to be 2x then that's going to be 1 over tan 2x now there is another equation which is giving us the limit as x approaches 0 of tan x over x is equal to 1 now the reciprocal of this is also true that is the limit as x approaches 0 of x over tan x is also equal to 1. Now, to make sure that we have 2x here, which will be equal to the argument for tan, which is also 2x, let's multiply top and bottom by 2x. So we have 2x divided by 2x. And then that becomes the limit as x approaches 0 of 5x times 2x over tan 2x and then times 1 over 2x. Now instead of writing 1 over 2x, we can just have it here that is 2x so that is 1 over 2x so that's exactly the same thing then we cancel out x and then x we have a constant 5 over 2 and then we pull out the constant so that we have 5 over 2 times the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x over tan 2x now these two values are the same therefore we know that the limit is going to give us 1. So we have 5 over 2 times 1. And that is equal to 5 over 2. Now to example 5. So we are going to solve the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x divided by 4 plus cos x so how do we solve this problem here we can use direct substitution that is to plug in 0 into this limit directly so let's try this so we are going to have sine of 0 divided by 4 plus cos 0. Now sine 0 is equal to 0. And then we have divided by 4 plus cos 0 is equal to 1. Therefore we have 0 divided by 5. And that is equal to 0. So the limits of this function as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. Remember that direct substitution works for some questions. Now let's move on to the last example for today's lesson. So that is example 6. And then we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the function sine 5x plus 10 divided by 4x plus 8. Now we want to make sure that the argument here is the same as what we have at the denominator. So what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply top and bottom by a value that will make sure that we have 5x plus 8. So what should we multiply the denominator and the numerator by? Now we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5 over 4. So we are going to have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of sine 5x 
plus 10 divided by 4x plus 8. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 5 over 4. And thus we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 5 over 4 times sine 5x plus 10 divided by now 4 cancels out 4 x times 5 is 5x 4 goes into itself once into 8 2 times and then 2 times 5 is 10 so you realize that these two values are the same now we also have a constant which is 5 over 4 so let's pull out the constant so that we have 5 over 4 times the limit as x approaches negative 2 of sine 5x plus 10 divided by 5x plus 10. Notice that here we have the limit approaching negative 2. So what we are going to do is since the limit is not approaching 0, we are going to introduce the variable t so that we say that let t equals 5x plus 10. Now, as x approaches negative 2, now if you plug in negative 2 into the denominator, you realize that you have 5 times negative 2 which is negative 10 plus 10 which is 0. So as x approaches negative 2, it means that t also approach 0. Therefore, we have 5 over 4. We have 5 over 4 times the limit. This time as t approaches 0 of sine t divided by t. Now the limit as t approaches 0 of sine t over t is equal to 1. Therefore we have 5 divided by 4 times 1 and that is equal to 5 over 4.